ili ili tuweze kuinua michezo yetu kabisa lazima corporate sponsorship ingie kwenye michezo and that's why nataka kushukuru sport pesa today sport pesa is sponsoring gormahia football club today sport pesa is sponsoring moranga seal a new team in the premier league today sport pesa is putting money in six grassroots team here at kasarani the way to go thank you the way to go for kenyan sports is for corporate sponsorship to get into kenyan sports and that's why nataka kutumia fursa hii kuarai makampuni mbalimbali the various corporates get your money into sports government is improving sports we are reviewing the policies the legislation to strengthen sports but to get our sports to the very highest level i invite corporate sponsors to support government efforts by sponsoring our sports right from the grassroots to the national level ndio tutaweza kuinua timu zetu si mnaona harambe stars imeanza kufufuka the other day we beat qatar a world cup team juzi we held russia a world cup team and kidogo tu kama tungekuwa our shooting boots ingekuwa on tungefunga hii russia vibaya sana lakini sasa ndivu na mbichi ni world cup qualifiers ambazo zinaanza mwezi ujao tarehe 13 harambe stars inamenyana na gabon in the opening game of the 2026 world cup qualifiers we want our team to go to gabon and fly our flag high what happened is we, uh, the grassroots program has always been there for kasarani i mean for sport pesa now i get confused sometimes so for sport pesa we always wanted to have start a grassroots plan in terms of supporting grassroots teams the question was how to pick the particular teams that are going to get the sponsorship because the teams usually struggle with transportation especially when they're in the division 2 leagues or the uh, regional leagues or even the NSL one of the major costs is transportation to honor their matches so what we did for Kasarani because now I'm the MP for Kasarani we had to start here was to pick the teams based on the wards so we picked five teams the best team in every ward of Kasarani where we have five wards one from Mwiki Clay City Kasarani Njiru and Rwai and then we picked one ladies team because at the time there are only two uh, teams for ladies i'm sure the teams will expand as we go forward because for the next season we are also paying for the current season we are paying all the fkf affiliation fees the, if the federation is run properly then football itself will grow uh, and that's all i hope for the federation because we have come a long way kenya was very good in football when i hear the stories of long ago because at the time i was not even there but apparently kenya was doing so well regionally and even in africa then somehow we went down we must put effort to bring it back up and that's why i said when we have ababu near because i've sat with him several times and you can see he's really interested because even after the school games there was a camp that was put for all those players who performed well in the secondary school games and that's where we fall off because after secondary school the players have nowhere to go and they just give up on sports but if we have a program of taking those kids from high school all the way even when they are playing in such teams they have the necessary support then our sports will go somewhere so i'm hoping in the next few years with the support of the private sector and also now government our teams will get to the level they need to be there's no reason okay afcon comes kenya is playing there and we have a ticket because we are the hosts and we don't perform well we are, we have to get to the back to the level where kenya is proud as a country when we go to the stadiums we are happy we've performed hopefully with the small steps in the next few years we'll get back to that level see you in south